Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna with me, Harry Simeu. This is the first of a brand new series, the Chronicles AFC Daily, where we'll be bringing you uh, the latest stories and the latest news involving our fantastic football club. Arsenal captain Laurent Koscielny is said to be considering his future. The captain battled back from what looked like a career-threatening injury to skip of the side in the second half of the season, but is said to want a new challenge prior to hanging up his boots. It's been reported that Inter, now led by Antonio Conte, have declined the opportunity to sign Koscielny in a cut price deal, but there is strong interest from Istanbul club Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce sporting director is Damian Camoli. Remember him? He certainly knows a thing or two about the Premier League and he's said to admire the out-of-favour Mohamed Elneny too. A double swoop isn't out of the question. But just going back to Koscielny for a minute, the question is, is it not worth keeping him around uh, for the final year of his contract? I mean, we're not going to get a significant transfer fee for him, but perhaps getting him off the wage bill a year earlier uh, will take precedent over that. Perhaps it's necessary in order uh, to reinvest in uh, the playing squad. So I'm not totally against that. According to the Times, Gunner striker Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is on the wish list of not one, but two Chinese clubs. Huangzhou Evergrande, managed by Fabio Cannavaro, and Shanghai SIPG are said to be interested in the Gabonese striker. Now, the fact that we missed out on Champions League football will encourage both these clubs that they could potentially get a deal done. After all, it's being widely reported that we're strapped for cash. Now, there were, of course, reports that Huangzhou Evergrande had agreed a £60 million fee with Dortmund for his services back when he signed for Arsenal. Fortunately for us, Aubameyang opted to come to London instead. But I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on this particular story. A sum like that could be very tempting if we were, of course, going to reinvest it back into the squad. It is quite clear to me... um, You know, that Emery prefers to play with the one striker. And you could argue he was forced to play the pair due to a lack of quality in other areas. Is it a sustainable thing, though? Is it sustainable for Arsenal to play with two centre forwards? Or are we kind of got to accept that if Emery wants to play a certain way and lots of you want to back Unai Emery, then you kind of got to let him do what he thinks. And if, um, if the right offer come in, I would be tempted. Not saying I would do it, but I certainly would be tempted. Stefan Licksteiner has confirmed he'll be leaving Arsenal in July when his one-year deal comes to an end. The Swiss joined in the summer from Juve as a backup to Hector Bellerin, but his time with the club didn't turn out how we, the fans, or he would have hoped. The fact Unai Emery preferred to turn to a young central midfield player, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, to cover for the Spaniard instead of a man who's made a solid career at right-back tells you all you need to know. The less said about that, the better. Thanks, Stefan. According to Italian outlet Tuto Sport, Arsenal are interested in Joachim Anderson and Belgian midfielder Dennis Pryor of Sampdoria. If you're to believe the reports, we've had a 42 million euro bid for the pair knocked back by the chairman. Um, I must admit, I know quite a bit about Dennis Pryor and I'll probably do a video about that if, um, you know, this does come to fruition, if there is anything a a little bit more concrete uh, further down the line. Uh, But in terms of Anderson, I'm not too clued up on this player um i know someone who is though and hopefully we can get him on a video uh, very soon um but i just find that hard to believe i find it hard to believe that a club with limited resources and people keep saying that that's not true i think it's absolutely true that arsenal will be strapped for cash this summer and um i don't think arsenal will invest too heavily so to think that we'd spend pretty much most of our transfer budget on um on the sampdoria guys I'm not sure. I think that story's still a little bit far-fetched, but we'll see uh, how that develops down the line. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. A big thanks uh, to those of you who have supported us throughout the season. We're going to keep it going through the summer. Um, and if there's anything you'd like to hear from us, don't hesitate to let us know. Until next time, take care.